I think if you stand back and look at things uh, from not from a micro scale, you would realize that a lot of these uh, problems that have happened are old developments. And in the light of that, the, we at IEM here, when we produce this position paper, we, di we do recommend that uh, all developments have to be checked as well, no? mm -hmm. for instabilities and things like that. And we found that there are problems, uh, they would have to address those problems. But, but uh, that, that, this sort of thing can only be implemented through the <coughs> government or local council. Because mm. if I were the landowner, you leave it to me. Although, in the eyes of the law, I'm the, because I own the, the land where my property is, or my premises is, I'm responsible for the, the stability there. But unless pushed by the government or the authority, mm. I don't think you can get me to spend money I think in terms of engineering design, uh, in terms of practice, um, there's no much uh, drastic changes. I mean, I uh, will have to say, in uh, taking the design approach. But in terms of knowledge or set of art knowledge, there will be a lot more uh, in, uh, improvement <coughs> being achieved uh, mm -hmm. uh, by having a more proper understanding of the soil behavior. But unfortunately, I think the material can be quite variables and these are the things that is we, we can't control the variabilities of the ground nature the the, 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 the ground mm -hmm. but I think what we can we have done actually is uh, perfecting the, the the design methodology and approach you know in the uh, past 20 years you know. uh, I mean there, there, are, there are certainly there are a lot of advancement on on the software and uh, also the basic knowledge fundamental knowledge on the <laughs> how the soil behave the only thing is, uh, if you do not have the proper investigations done, of course you have the knowledge, but you can't put up a proper models for 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 your plot of lands. You know? mm. So these are coming back to the importance of the investigations. Uh, you know? mm. uh, but I don't I don't deal with authorities. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I can really say the authorities only. Uh, implement policies, they do not go into great detail, you know, the engineering details, those are left to the, the uh, professionals or the engineers mm. actually working on a particular uh, job. So, so what, what comes up depends on the background knowledge and ability of that particular engineer who is uh, working on mm -hmm. okay. that particular job. Okay. Certainly they do mm -hmm. All right. defer, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in this position paper, we try to try to get some uniformity, hopefully, into the thing by, right. by uh, streamlining the uh, brand of soil mechanics is supposed to be taught to engineers, mm -hmm. which unfortunately at, at, at the moment it's quite quite fragmented. Mm -hmm. I think population growth, we need a lot more land for development. Mm -hmm. So the good land probably is developed in the earlier day, has been used up, so we had to slowly go into all this uh, hillside or some area go to the seaside or soft ground. And because of this, the, the, the frequency exposure is increasing. Of course, you know, given for any sound engineering by the same statistic, <coughs> when you have a bigger sample sampling numbers, the chances of in individual incidents happen also will be increased. Mm -hmm. But then the statistic may be still kept to the the levels of uh, a certain uh, probability of accidents or mm -hmm. incidents happen mm -hmm. with uh, failure cases. So I think these are the facts that I think everyone have to also bear in mind. You know? Just like 30-40 years ago, we have less car on the road, less accident, but now we have more.